for the first method, we're going to head over to search and type in settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, we're going to click on Bluetooth and devices. Then you want to click on devices. Then you want to find the device that you want to connect. So if it's not working, then you want to click on the three dots and click on remove device. Then you want to go to add device and click on Bluetooth and you want to look for it again and then try to connect to it again. For the second method, you want to head over to search and type in troubleshoot settings. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to click on other troubleshooters. And then next to Bluetooth, you want to click on run. And you want to click on yes to give consent to run the automatic diagnostics, which will try to solve your problem. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in services. Click on it. You want to scroll down a little bit and you want to make sure that the Bluetooth support service is running. So double click on it and then make sure that the service status is running. Click on start to make it running. And then make the startup type automatic and click on OK. You can also repeat that for the other Bluetooth services right here. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Once you're on it, you want to find Bluetooth. I haven't got Bluetooth on this computer, but once you find Bluetooth, you want to expand it. And then you want to right click on your Bluetooth device and click on update driver and click on search automatically for drivers. If the best driver has been installed, then you want to go back and click on browse my computer for drivers and click on let me pick from a list. Then you want to install the one that comes up here. Click on next. Then after you do everything in this video, restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.